on fires burning bright Funky faces in the night I remember Halloween Dead cats hanging from poles Little dead around in droves I remember Halloween Sorry, Ari Lehman. Neil, how you doing? It's good. Good, time. good to see you, man. Yeah, we're hanging right. out. Yeah. You Ari gave me some the cool. first Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Exactly. And you gave me some really cool sunglasses last night. Oh man, that's right. All those those, those wild sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forgot all about that. The fluorescent eye poppers. Yeah, yeah. Those were fun. What was that about? That was just the. I don't know. You just walked up and you were you were kind of scary. You just kind of looked at me and stuck them on my head. And I was like, <laughs> Oh I was like, God. why is Eric coming after me? I don't know what's going on, but it's a good time. <laughs> now, we did an interview before, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. This was to be dead serious. Oh. I'm just kidding. Did you like the event today? <laughs> did you have a good uh, weekend? Oh, hell yeah. This was, this was a blast, absolutely. Yeah. Days of the Dead, especially for a first-time show, mm -hmm. I think you got something really amazing, really uh, fun. Uh, the energy was, was up, and it kind of had a nice... Sort of an adult theme spin to it, yeah. which I feel uh, is welcome because I don't like this trend of like, like, fright events becoming fan events. Mm -hmm. Like, I really think that that's BS. I think that's a lot of bullshit, yeah. especially because people have been relying on the horror genre and the horror community all along. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, now we'll go with, you know, rabbits and rainbows. And it's like, you know, come on. You know, that ain't going to work anymore. Yeah. Now, I know you actually uh, played a concert, too, I think it was Friday night. It was on Thursday. Thursday night. We played we at, the, at the Melody Inn, mm -hmm. and uh, which was a lot of fun. We played there with uh, Mr. Reggie Bannister. Oh. He came out, he did a, an acoustic set. It was yeah. amazing. And then we came out with our, uh, you know, with my crazy uh, guitar, you know, which looks like a... Uh, <laughs> but, um... <laughs> And then this band, a local band, I don't know if any of your viewers are, are from uh, this area, but there's a local band called Coffinsville, Coffinsville, and they kicked it. Oh, I think they even have their CD right here. So, I mean, you know, Coffinsville, they were really good. <laughs> you know, so first Jason recommends them. Thanks. So, was there any other guys there uh, from the convention? Oh, well, they're not, uh, no bands, but there yeah. was, you know, uh, the, the, the audience. Plays, the, I don't know. Yeah, no, but he wasn't there, but, but the uh, that would be a good idea. Uh, originally, um, it was set up to have more acts, but I, I honestly think that the way it went, mm -hmm. it was just such a nice musical presentation. Because, as I said, Reggie, he really he did the, that, that thing with the folk, uh, folk guitar yeah. and everything. It just was sweet. And then we kind of brought the level up a yeah. little rocking, and then these guys just hit it out of the park. And then we were just, it, was a good, it was definitely a great kickoff to Days of the Dead. Yeah. I want to always ask you this. Now, if it was up to you. You're the original Jason. That's right. Would you have put the, uh, the hockey mask on, or would you have stuck with the sack, or would you have just done no mask? Oh, you mean like up to part three? Well, you know what it is? Um, I think that the hockey mask was a good choice mm -hmm. for a lot of different reasons. You know, um, it's kind of got a death, a death look to it. It's yeah. got that silence effect, you know, just the white. Yeah, and it's a one white part of like the whole dark. Yeah, character, exactly. You know? And there's something about that. You know, I think it has the face of death kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, if you see Jason, you know you're going to die. And uh, I, I actually think that the hockey mask is, uh, has a certain brutality. And, uh, yeah. You know, also it kind of it, it represents, I think, a invulnerability. Like, you can't reach this guy. You can't reason with this guy. He's just coming at you. Yeah. You know, it's that wonderful, silent thing. As opposed to, like, you know, Freddy Krueger who's talking and, you know, yeah. it's a dream world. But Jason's just like, you know, you see him, you know it's over. Yeah. One last so. thing, too. Uh, did you prefer that Jason was kind of the inbred kind of hillbilly dude? Not necessarily inbred, but kind of retarded hillbilly guy, or did you like him more than zombie? Well, it's interesting. I always felt like, you know, he, he has a bit of both, of course, because yeah. he's coming from that background, but then he has been risen from the dead. I kind of think... Uh, I would go with the the zombie thing, like like maybe as to me, I think um, the portrayal 
by uh, Kane Hodder in Part 7, Part 8. To me, that's definitive in a lot of ways. Um, you know, because uh, just the, the breathing thing, yeah. just the mannerisms, and just that whole thing. So I think so much comes together. You know, it's kind of like who was Frankenstein before he became Frankenstein, you know? Does it matter somewhat? Yeah. But, but now the manifestation is he's Frankenstein. Yeah. Um, Plus it made men like you were doing some working out in between. That's the right. And well, look at look at this now with Derek Mears in the new yeah. one. You know, he's been like learning, doing. He's like faster. He's a faster Jason, a smarter Jason. You know. Yeah, he's even hunting. He's hunting. You know, honestly, I think he's been going to like a personal trainer. Or oh, okay. Like a, you know, he's been going maybe community college for survivalists. Yeah. Survivalist skill yeah. camp. Foraging. You know? Yeah. Good times. Well, thank you for doing this, man. It's always good time. Well, just remember, if, if if Jason can improve, there's hope for all of us. And that's right. You're listening and you're watching without your head. So put your head back. Right? <laughs>